So here is our newest build. Just to keep it a stack, this is what it looks like. Uh, the first thing, as always, was location. I went around to a bunch of different locations, and I was actually headed here when I found this kind of nice, flat, open area to get this build started in. I just wanted it a little bit in the mountains so that there'd be snow on top of the uh, on top of the build. Uh, and I did something a little bit different with the edges. I've got an inspiration video or video, sorry, an inspiration photo uh, that I could put up on the edit at the end. Um, when you type in Viking building, it's like the first thing that pops up on Google Images. Um, and it's like this old church and has like a uh, cemetery around it. Uh, and I thought I'd build old school, chill looking church as well. This was already here. I flattened out the bit a little bit, kind of closed off everything. So it's nice and comfy, do comfy dory. It's a uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. By one, two, five, ten, uh, four, fourteen is the main and then i've got like this big circular area in the back just came out just a little bit off but not too bad not too bad uh i've got my outer inner storage ready and prepped for uh naming on both sides kind of nice of course the inside most important part we have the center area a feeding area where people can you know eat and stuff our cartography table our war room table kind of how i keep looking at it fully functional um forge set at level seven um also with the forge i decided to build kind of a um an oven just for the forge i've got stuff inside with the uh, wood shutters now this is opened and to open it because if you open it right now it's going to open the opposite way which is always looks goof you kind of have to get on top of it, then open it. You kind of have this cool looking little, like, there's stuff on the inside kind of look. Um, the wood kind of uh, cutting area. All these are wood cutting tools and leather working. I've got stone. I thought I'd put, like, a couple chairs together. Like, that's what this dude, whoever's working here, is working on this. Maybe some of these things, too trying to look at like making things a little more lived in and this is all bottom floor so the main things that you would probably be uh, accessing on a regular basis to make this as functional as possible are all on the bottom floor uh, then we have our kitchen again what fully upgraded i believe that's right four i used the double hearth idea the uh, stone oven, you can kind of walk up here. You're more or less safe to do that, but you will catch fire pretty easily. Meads, breads, stuff and things. Just, again, trying to look at building this with a little bit more, like, purpose in the build. Uh, stacks or other tables. You know, if you have visitors, you might have to bust out some other tables. We got chairs and stuff over there. We can head upstairs. Carpet. A little uh, flickery, but still kind of get the idea of the design. Looks nice. So this little bit was sticking through on the outside. So rather than uh, make it, uh, make it like, try to get rid of it, I decided it would be like the wards. <laughs> little covering. Teleport. Ah, yes, a chandelier. That's right. I'd seen a couple chandeliers online, and this one, uh, this one is probably simple to design, so I'm sure somebody else made something like it. Some simple storage, some money, some more money, just kind of a hangout, show off your good gear kind of scenario. You can overlook the fire of the kitchen. And then head up here. And this is the bedroom. The main uh, stay, I guess, where whoever would spawn in. 
So you, I wanted to kind of have a sunken in bed. I thought it would look cool. It does look cool, but it's you can't reach the bed when you're on it. So you have to reach the bed by hitting one of these uh, edges. But yeah, it came out pretty nice. Overall, really nice build. Um, goes all the way up. So these are the only floors. There are, there are three floors. Seems to be more than enough. But the um, outer part would, sh would designate that there'd be a lot. There's a lot more going on. We'll go around to the right. Little path off into the woods. Little path into like a, a pen type thing. Some storage carts. A couple mushrooms that are totally not on item stands. Totally naturally placed there mushrooms. Little walk path around the back. Again, everything here is like all things that you can have in the game are here. And they're all like functional, functional and accessible. Just fine all around. This one's really easy to access. I put some of the anvil related stuff on the outside. To, again, just to kind of flesh out the outer area. These things are really great items in general to kind of stand there so they look good place to hang out and soak up the rays drink up some eat up some bacon and drink up some some mead watch out for the windmill it will take your head a nice little hangout here little walk path over to our uh beehives thank you thank you beehives I still just really like putting them on posts. I'm sure there's a better way to do that. <laughs> I just haven't seen it yet. Oh, this was really hard to get this. It wouldn't snap. So I just had to like lay it in there just so. And it you just have to walk over it a couple times to really make sure you're not going to get caught on it. Another hangout spot. Some more uh, stacks of wood. Now these... Do not stack on top of those, but they're up against the wall. So I've I've stacked them up against the wall. And so they look like they're stacked on top. These, however, do stack on top of each other. Little tip there for you guys. I think the build came out pretty good. It's got a lot of space. You could condense a lot of the rooms and stuff. Kind of make yourself some more space. I went with the border first. And then I went with structural integrity after the fact. And I started with four pieces right in the middle. These are all iron all the way up. And then I started with these four over here. Now this was really only for the tunnel or the, uh, the, the circular bit. And then these I thought would be enough for the entire integrity of the house. But I ended up having to add these. And at first I was kind of annoyed with them. But then they started to um, started to make sense. And then stairs again. I was kind of like, do I make a set of stairs or do I uh, go with a full like a teleport or teleportal system? Um, I think the stairs came out really nice. And I did the angle bit so they don't feel so like this is their only floor plan floor fo footprint. I did the same for upstairs, kind of these little curved little bits. And there we are, our resting area. Ta-da! <laughs> so the area required just a little bit of excavation and terraforming. Um, came out nice in the long run of it all, but that was kind of what was required at first. Just a couple trees, not a lot taken down. Um, the area was mostly flat in the first place. I always like my builds to be a little bit into the woods and not just out into the middle of wherever. That would have been a lot easier to do. Uh, I had to take down a couple trees or a couple right here that were kind of reaching into the uh, build. But this, this tree looked good. Felt right. And this one too, I just left. There's a couple, obviously. And I opted out of windows and went with... Uh, cage and the um what is it called again the carved darkwood divider and the cage wall one by one like i said i didn't know what to call it like a witch's 
Tower Manor, Manor or something like that. I don't know. I think it came out pretty good. Thank you guys for uh, hanging out and watching the uh, build showcase. I will turn this off and we'll play some other fun, trendy stuff. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. Thanks for watching.